This is the Xperia Z2. With uh, the Xperia Z2, we now say you have the best camera and camcorder ah, in a waterproof okay, smartphone. Okay, so what is this doing now? Well, you, you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. <laughs> it's going to record 4K what? video quality. In a, in a phone, I can do 4K. In a phone, that's exactly that's correct. That's amazing. And you did this without upgrading the processors and without upgrading the camera, so it was right. already able to do it? Well, the Snapdragon 800 processor had that capability. We needed to design the product uh, around that capability. There's a lot of other things that go into that, but yes, the processor had that capability. The one thing we had to do was step up on the RAM mm -hmm. as well, and now you have three gigabytes of RAM there. Okay. Yeah. So you so have that process, that yeah, extra exactly. information that's coming sure. out. And the screen isn't 4K itself, but you can hook it up somewhere. Where you're going to see the 4K quality, of course, is on a 4K television. Absolutely. And that's carried over by MHL. It has to be MHL 3.0, which this device does support. So you have that cable, you're recording your 4K movies here on your mm -hmm. Xperia Z2 smartphone, and you see them perfectly and brilliantly in 4K resolution on your television. Oh, that's amazing. It's still the 20 megapixel camera as well for still photos. Sure, so you still have all of that on the still photo side. So all of those Sony assets that we talked about with the Xperia Z1, the G lens, uh, the Exmor RS sensor, 20.7 megapixel, and the Bions processing to give you great still photo images, all of that still applies to this device. That's incredible. Now, now in addition, because we're emphasizing the video side a little bit more, we've enhanced a couple of the other applications. Can you do like slow motion say? Yes, you can. So there, there's an application called Time Shift Burst that you might remember with the right. still photos, yeah? yeah? That gives you like a flip book effect. That's really well, nice. Here now we have it for video as okay. well to add slow motion while you're shooting. So 4K, I mean, that's, those are huge file sizes. Can you just capture forever until you run out of memory? The cool thing then, of course, is that with our devices, we give you expandable memory. Mm -hmm. So you start out with the 16 gig, which is pretty generous internal memory. But then if you want to expand and it with micro SD, you can go to an additional up to an additional uh, 64 gig. So one of the most important parts about video isn't just making it beautiful, obviously, mm -hmm. it's capturing good audio. So is the capture quality of the phone uh, fantastic? It has by itself really great audio capturing capability, but there's also an accessory that oh, we're we introducing. Yeah, toys. look at this. Oh That's gosh. a stereo microphone. And you see it has uh, an XY pattern there. Right. So these are unidirectional mi microphones that give you like and a 90 degree right radius. In here. Yeah. Wow. Oh, and it's adjustable. And it comes with a windscreen. Oh, very as nice. Well too. In case I breathe too heavily, that's <laughs> fair. And then what kind of audio are we getting from this? Well, you have excellent audio capability. In fact, there's a standalone audio app. So say if you're not recording the 4K video. Say I'm doing a podcast. You're doing a podcast. Or I'm taking or, notes at school. Or, or yeah, or what, like whatever. That. And you want really, are you recording a band, you know, mm -hmm. at a club or something like that? You can adjust the audio quality so there's different sampling rates. But also you can select stereo or mono. So mm -hmm. if you're just recording notes, that other mic isn't capturing the right. other direction. You're, you're able to, to have that focus. And it fits so nicely. Does this work with other phones or is it just with the Xperia? Well, I think right now you focus on the Xperia Z2 with this product because it's a, a five pole connector there. Right. So it requires a, you know, a, a special, special configuration on the Great. plug. So then once I've got it all captured, I just plug in my headphones and go? Yeah, and we have some special headphones to talk about too. Oh, great. Uh, these are digital noise canceling headphones. Okay. Uh, now, the reason that these are so tiny and can be yeah. digital noise canceling is because the phone has digital noise canceling, uh, let's call it DNC for short, has DNC capability built in. What they're doing is sending the ambient sound information to the phone and then the phone sends the countering sound oh, information wow. to give you the, the digital noise canceling. Okay, great. So, and also because the power is in the phone, you don't have to have the power in the headset now. That's another thing so that keeps the small. size down and keeps it at a reasonable cost as well. So they don't come with the phone? Nope, this is an optional accessory as okay. well too. Yeah. And then the, the, the headphone port is waterproof as well. So what was great about the Xperia Z1 with the waterproof capability, including the open headphone jack, that's waterproof still as well. Tell us about the screen. Well, this is a 5.2 inch screen. Mm -hmm. So a little larger than the Z1. Yeah, slightly larger, and of course it's full 1080p. It's triluminous, okay. of course, so a yes. triluminous display, and you have the X reality for, for mobile picture engine. All that right. is in there as well. Yep. But in addition, you have IPS technology, so you have oh. better viewing angles. Okay, which you didn't have in the Z1, right? That's correct. So we stepped up on this with this device to give you the IPS technology. Great. Uh, but also, this has what we call live color LED. Okay. 
Okay, so what's that? Well, it, it introduces without getting too technical, because then I'll get bogged down in this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it adds uh, customized color filter layers. Okay. And it also adds into the blue LEDs, it adds uh, red and green phosphor elements. Mm -hmm. now, now, the benefit of all of that is you're going to get a more consistent brightness on the screen overall, yeah. and that's going to produce better colors. Just and, more realistic color, well, not like saturated? That's, but a, that's an excellent point, because it's easy to pump up the volume, right? Sure, and have sure. Everything Put it up glow. at 11. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'll go up to 11. Yeah. <laughs> so, but the important thing is, is that you're getting more true-to-life colors. Okay. So this is another other advancement in that area for us. So we're mm -hmm. already well along the way there with the Triluminous. With the live color LED, it's even more so with this new technology for a smartphone. Oh, that's great. So I see it's got the NFC logo on the back, so of it's course. NFC compatible. And what version of Android is it running? KitKat, oh. Android 4.4. Very nice. And what colors does it come in? Just black? Black, white, and purple. Okay, and then availability? When can I March. pick one of these up? March? And you'll oh, start geez. to seeing showing up in markets around that. Of course, you know, it varies by market. What's the price point for the Z2? Well, I don't have the exact uh, uh, retail pricing just now, but of course this is going to be a premium product, so mm -hmm. it's going to be in that premium tier, yet competitively priced. Excellent. <laughs> and I see there's a little uh, there's a little guy up here in the corner there. Does it work with some wearables? Well, that's the icon for our life logging okay, application. Okay, because you, you talked a little bit about these at yeah, CES, yeah. and I haven't seen too much out there. Well, I, I am of course wearing my smart band. Yeah, I mean I've got yeah. one of these things I, too. I was going it's to, not, I was trying to be polite, and I was going to say fancy. something about that. And I know the only reason you're wearing that is because you can't yet get your hands on a Sony smart When band. can I get my hands on one? <laughs> or my wrist on one, really? We're going to start seeing it rolled out in March. Mm -hmm. So thanks for watching Signal by Sony. You can find more of our episodes at youtube.com slash signal.